Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and today is September 11th, and um, I'd like to share with you something that the Lord shared with me. I was questioning him about um, imaginations. I was uh, uh, finding myself, in, like everyone else, when uh, you have a symptom or when you see something happen, even if it's not you, you're driving on the road and you see a car swerve. Okay, when you see the car swerve, you start imagining if he had swerved harder, if he had gotten an accident, if the car, you start seeing uh, a movie in your head, like you see the car swerving more in your head, you see it overturning, you see people getting killed, people crashing, getting hurt, you rescuing them, you getting hurt, a car is piling up behind you, you know, the story goes on and on and on. And you just imagine and see in your mind all these events taking place and all that you really saw was a car swerve a little bit. Well, God showed me <clears throat> that these were vain imaginations. And these were was something that God blessed you with, but the devil took and twisted and turned it around and used it for his, uh, for an opportunity to open the door to his work. God said that he has not given us vain imaginations, that he, he gave us our imagination. This is what he said to me. He gave us our imagination so we could imagine more. There's a scripture that says that God will do more than we can ask, think, or imagine. And he said that's why he gave us imagination. So we could use it to imagine all his goodness that he has for us. And all the goodness he wants to do through us, for us, and to us. And our imagination is to imagine the throne of heaven. And to imagine heaven and the angels. And to imagine... Um, all the good things God has for us. Not to imagine sickness, disease, death, dying. You go to the doctor, you have a symptom, and you hear from this friend sometime in your life, and you read in a book somewhere else, that these symptoms equal this disease, and this disease equals this. Like you hear somebody has a certain symptom, and you say, well, Uncle Charlie died of cancer. It sounds like cancer. And you read in a book, um, this is a symptom of this. And so you begin to imagine what life is going to be like. You go to the doctor, the pain you're going to go through to get uh, the chemotherapy or whatever, and then you imagine the time that it takes to go to the doctor. You imagine yourself running out of gas, not having money to have gas. Uh, just one thing after another, you begin to imagine all these things. What's your family going to be like? How are they going to feel? How are you going to respond to them? And you imagine these vain imaginations. They're not good. And God says, every time you catch yourself in these vain imaginations, realize they were vain imaginations they're not prophecies of your future to take a hold of them and to replace them with what God says about you and these are what he, he says that your thoughts um, should be uh, of peace that uh, uh, a good report things that are virtu virtuous think on these things meditate on these things honorable true just praiseworthy and if it's not those things, if they don't line up with the Word of God, the goodness of God, do not allow that vain imagination to be in your imagination. And this has helped me immensely. I'll be just walking, going for a walk, and I'll, I'll, I'll see something. And it'll remind me of something else, which will remind me of something else. And it'll take me down this road of vain imaginations. And it's all negative, all bad. And right away, now, I catch myself with vain imaginations and realizing, no, my imagination is to imagine the goodness of God. And that really helps me. Um, and we have, he also reminded me that we have the mind of Christ. And the mind of Christ is always thinking about the goodness of God. So I hope that helped you. I hope that you are able to capture yourself and catch yourself with vain imaginations and then pull out down those strongholds and instead meditate and think on the goodness of God. My name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God, and for 9-11, I'm out.